From Egypt, another one of our young callers, Jazakallah, her sister. Okay, uh, Sister Zahra, also from Egypt, had a second question, Sheikh. Uh, wanted uh, some explanation to who Yajuj wa Majuj were, Sheikh. Uh, this is indeed a long story. I will try to summarize it for the sake of time because we have so many questions to answer, many backlog in addition to uh, tonight's question as well. Uh, well, the Quran narrates upon us in Surah Al-Kahf, mm-hmm. which inshallah will go into detailed explanation of the meaning of this part about Gog and Magog. Mm-hmm. By the end of the Surah, Allah the Almighty says about the just king, Dhul Qarnayn, that he toured the globe. He went to the west, then he went to the east, and so forth. So he met with a group. They said, قَالُوا يَا دَ الْقَرْنَيْنِ إِنَّ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ مُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَهَلْ نَجْعَلُوا لَكَ خَرْجَ عَلَى أَنْ تَجْعَلَ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَهُمْ In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, in, in the journey of Dhul Qarnayn, he met with people who complained about two tribes of the children of Adam. Their names, so Gog and Magog, or Ya'juj wa Ma'juj, mm-hmm. are two names of two tribes, two clans, the descendants of Adam, alayhi salam. But they were so corrupt, the ayah says, that they, they spread mischief and corruption on earth. Mm-hmm. So they were willing to pay uh, to Dhul Qarnayn uh, money or wages in order to establish or build a dam, to imprison them in some area where they would be uh, protected from their harm. They were so uh, weird, they were so strange, they would devour every living thing, all the crops, and they would drink all the water, and they would hurt others. So he said, just help me out. And uh, Surah goes on and on to explain that he did something very unique, such as alloy. And he melted the metals on top of each other, then he built a huge dam that surrounded them. Where is it at? Nobody knows, or otherwise the Prophet ﷺ would have informed us. People keep uh, wondering, could it be the great uh, wall of China? Could it be, could it be? Allah knows where is it as. But is it existing right now? Yes, it is. And those people are alive right now? Yes. And they eat, they drink, and they uh, get multiplied, they get married, and they have children. Because the Nabi ﷺ said, their exit will be a major sign of the signs of the Day of Judgment that precedes the occurrence of the Day of Judgment. And they will spread once again corruption and mischief on earth until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect the believers from their harm. In the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَيْلٌ لِلْعَرَبِ مِنْ شَرٍ مِنْ شَرٍ قَدْ اقْتَرَبْ He said, woe to the Arab from a very nearby or approaching evil. They said, what is it? He said, uh, a hole similar to that, and he circled uh, the index and the thumb, made a circle. He said, there is a hole similar to that was punctured today, and the great wall, which or the dam which is surrounding or besieging uh, um, uh, Gog and Magog. The Prophet ﷺ said about them that every day they keep trying puncturing a hole in this uh, dam. Until it is sunset, they say to one another, well, let's continue tomorrow. And they're very close to complete it and get out. So when they go to sleep during the evening, the hole will be sealed once again. And every day the same story is going on and on and on, until one day they will get up in the morning and the hole will be the same as they left it last uh, night. So they will continue and they will get out and that is a sign or one of the major signs of the occurrence of the day of resurrection. Just that